Oh my gosh. They're back. Trash husband and the polygamy and what? oh my God, Garrett. Oh no. Yep, it's time. Seeking Sister Wives season, whatever their own. It's time for an all new oh. and they're back and they're they're up to no good, man. Last time we caught up with them, uh, if they're just trying to marry Bert. You know, his his, his yeah. thick hottie from Brazil that he met on Instagram. Only because God told him. Yeah, God told him to do it. Uh, he divorces his current wife so that they yeah. could remarry or something like that. For some reason, they had to be divorced. I don't remember what it was. Oh, so he could marry Roberta and get her into the country. All right. So, and then we left with them being like they gathered up and, you know, they had like, oh, there was some drama because, you know, uh, the other wife was like, I don't know about this. Uh, Didn't he take the whole family for that? Yeah, yeah, he took the whole family to go get her pregnant. Uh, <laughs> uh, kids and all, parents, everybody. So we're going to jump into that. Before we do, look at this graph. Please subscribe if you're not subscribed. It helps a lot. You know, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. Check out Dane on Buff Pro on YouTube and check out the Toasty Games channel if you want to see some gameplay. <sighs> Here we go. I'm Danielle. I'm Garrick. And we're, we're the, the Merrifields. Merrifields. <laughs> yeah. The Merrifields. Well, they were. They were the Merrifields. She's not right. the Merrifield anymore. She got divorced. <laughs> She's laughing She's still about there. it too. She's like, ah, we was the Merrifields. <laughs> Been together. 15 years? And then we 15. started living plural. We started dating. Okay. Actually, four years ago next month. Okay. Four years ago? What? Well, they didn't talk about, they didn't talk about none of this in the clips we were watching last time. What? It was just like a brand new thing. They've been, bro, we didn't get that. We didn't get the whole story. We oh done got, my we God. Got TLC bamboozled. Wow. They've been doing it for four. They've been dating for four years. Actually, someone sent me a message. Someone sent me a DM talking about these two. They were like, yo, my friend met them in a club or something like, where was it? What was it? They, they were trying to get picked up basically. And uh, they were like, I got the deets, man, if you want them. And I was like, mm, 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 no, I don't want that. Mm. <laughs> I like, I, I can watch the shows, watch the clips, but I'm not trying to really get into it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, man. Thank you, though. So they got they, they got a little spice oh. going on in their life, apparently, that's not in the show. Mm -hmm. And they're, I think they really like it. They were like, so does that mean we get double Christmas presents? Oh, yeah. I was okay. like, um. <laughs> <laughs> right. Do they? Sure. Did, do they? Bert do they get be double Christmas presents? Kids. Like how they're like the kids are cool yeah. with it. Yeah, the kids don't even they're <laughs> they're just they're your kids. They're just like ah, okay, mom and dad. Nah, I don't understand. I just want to play Fortnite. We define polygamy as a man having more than one wife, and the wives we consider to be close, like sisters. But wives, like this is the thing, man. They they don't have any yet. They don't have any. Our definition is I get to do whatever I want because God told me, but uh, we don't actually haven't actually taken the first step of having more than one wife and then being close to sisters because one oh, or Roberto when we went on you know the family vacations it was just a big drama the whole time but you know what everything's going great <laughs> yeah freaking gaslighting Garrick yeah, over here oh, this man taught me what gaslighting meant I wasn't even too sure like for the longest time I'd always hear it like I don't know what that is but then I had to look <laughs> it up and this guy came around I was like, what is he doing polygamy is really something we felt God led us to <laughs> we believe that it's it is. a reflection of how he is with his church he has multiple you know people and he loves them all equally in the same it's about not like right. he, I, I love right. how he compares himself to jesus uh it's just, it's just like jesus in his church you know he's banging everybody <laughs> in the church and that's what i want to do too you know it's like, it's like not even the same thing man what a what a Garrett's, logical leap there uh, future cult leader calling it now just calling it now all right <laughs> <laughs> it's about not limiting love and babies having a family a big family Oh yeah, babies. Yeah, that's yeah, babies. Just like in the church. Jesus had all the babies. Mm. <laughs> when my family found out, they basically disowned me, uh, kicked us off the property, um, and kind of ended everything we had to do with them. Wow. I guess a lot happened since last wow. time we saw them. They got that kicked off the whole property. Be. Is that the, is that why they're living here? Wow. Because this is not their house they were in before. Was that not their house? Was that like their parents' Ooh. house they were staying in? And they kicked them out? No. The last time they talked to him, they were like, they were on vacation and, you know, Garrick was like trying yeah. to, like the whole time just trying to bang, right? Uh, and then the dad and the mom, like Daniel's dad and mom were there and they were both like, mm -mm. I don't even think Garrick's parents want to be around. Like, I don't think they've shown up in the show at all, like any of his family. I saw her profile picture and I thought she was very beautiful. We have been courting her as a potential sister with since we first met her three years ago. Oh, they met her three years ago. So, okay, so the timeline, they started doing this four years ago. There's someone they tried it out with, didn't work Obert. out. And they met Obert here on the polygamy yeah. dating website. Yeah. 
And that's been wow. three years now? Jeez. When's the last time we wow. made videos on these people? Yeah, hey. <laughs> Holy crap. It's been a while, I guess. Do you believe that your marriage is irretrievably broken? Oh, here we go. Yes. Like they're over here divorcing and she is getting so upset. When we first started living plural, I dealt with a lot of jealousy and finding Roberta definitely made me address a lot of insecurities. Ooh. Bro, it was bad. It was, it was hard to watch. <laughs> like, it was so obvious how insecure and just like upset she was the whole time. Like, and Garrick's like, yeah, whatever, get over it. Uh, uh, large wife, fat large wife. wife. What, 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 what do you call her? Large wife? Yeah, yeah. Yo, large wife. Large wife. Trying to get some alone yeah. time over here. I'm trying to smash you. Get away. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here. You're, th you're third wheeling right now. Go away. I'm supposed to love you equally. Sister, I need to tell you something. The night you slept in our room, we had an intimate moment. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Oh god, I remember all oh my god, dude. Yeah. The flashbacks. Like she didn't know they had they had did the dirty yet, and then she kind of like got the bomb dropped on her and Gary's like, yeah. Oh yeah. That That's because she was yeah, gone for like bro. 30 minutes, right? She wasn't even gone the whole night. <laughs> yeah, she went to like get her bags or something. Uh. Right? It wasn't even... <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Since our last trip to Mexico, I have been praying and Fasting as well. People think oh, you can't wow. change. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since she went and saw Roberta in her bikini, she's Ever like, well, I've been fasting, large you know? wife. <laughs> <laughs> been praying. Wow. <laughs> oh, 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 no, man. I still feel bad for her. I mean, th that whole religious aspect of the whole thing is just it's painful. I've been praying about it and fasting. <laughs> God, answer my prayers. Please deliver us a second wife, maybe a third. Jealousy sucks and it's pretty cruel what it does yes because you don't want it to happen just be real with yourself you don't you're jealous you don't want this to happen you never did we cannot we all know it everybody knows it but you're still doing it i guess right. because you guys like being on tv now i don't know i don't know why they're still doing this it's decided to continue the journey of adding to our family a little over a year ago um we met up with roberta in mexico because she didn't have a visa <laughs> We, you know, <laughs> just them two. <laughs> yeah, maybe scoot that in before you knock everything off. Oh, Bro, you just, you're just sitting there. Coaching. Shut up. Old dad delegating from the... <laughs> he's coaching, that's what it is. Over there drinking his coffee. Yeah, yeah, you're doing that wrong. Yeah. I don't know, man. It's, it's bugging me. They're making their lives so difficult. What about their kids? Think of the kids. Right. What about the children that are having to live in a camper because your parents, are, your dad's, uh, he needs <sighs> multiple wives, you know, like, yeah. how did you, how did we get here? This is, this is the crazy. The kids should have like begged the grandparents like, yo, please kick them out. All right. We can, didn't do can, that. Can we, can we stay? <laughs> can we please grandpa, please. It has been over a year now since we've seen Roberta in person. It's been a year since they've seen her. Roberta had her visa approved not too long ago, but she hasn't come to the U.S. yet because her mom's health is not good. Oh, mom. Okay. Thanks. Well, my mom. I thought I thought there was something else going on. Like, oh, she haven't been over here because you know <laughs> she's she ain't really about it. But yeah, it sucks about her mom. But we're definitely planning as soon as she gets here to definitely start the baby making process again. Now listen to oh, him. Listen, listen, listen to him. Listen, as soon as she gets here, I'm smashing, bro, like all the time. You know what I'm saying? We need babies in this camper. We're going to do it in the camper, too. Kids, go outside for a little bit, all right? I think it'd be good for you guys to have a sister. You better get on those baby making then, huh? Oh, you better get to that, Well, once huh? Fur gets here. <laughs> oh, God, that's so awkward. Oh, God. Uh, you better get to that baby making. <laughs> Roberta definitely wants to have children. Um, we did try it in Cabo when we went down last November. Garrick failed on getting her pregnant. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> fail, what a failure. We started building a bigger home there from scratch. There they go. Bezos, mi amor. That's the house. There we go. I was, was going to say, like, I was pretty sure that, like, they own, like, a company for, for development or something like that. Like, they just build a house. And it blows my mind they didn't, like, own their house they were already living in. Right. So they're building a new one. Maybe, maybe they, maybe what really happened is they sold their old house so they could afford building a new one. Because during all this time, I don't know if you guys seen the housing market, but bruh, it's expensive to build a house now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. A third. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what? And Danielle Wait, what? approached me and said, "Hey, I think maybe God wants us to have another third. wife." I was shocked. What just happened? Are they gaslighting the whole third season? <laughs> Bruh. What? Hang on. 
So she wants them to have a third. They don't even really have a second yet. And the whole time she was insanely jealous and uncomfortable with the whole thing. And now she's like, you know, maybe we should get a third. What is happening here? What <laughs> this we there's so, we're missing something. They're, they they got to be doing it for TV. What an actress. What? 10 yeah. out of 10. Right. <laughs> she's been pulling the strings the whole time. The puppet <laughs> master has been revealed. The third wife would help balance out the fact that if Bert's with Garrick, then I have someone to support me and we can do things together and vice versa. So we're not alone. Bruh. <laughs> what did she just say? <laughs> oh my God. Garrick, okay. you gonna cheat on me? I want another person too. <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what we said. Like well, the last season, we were doing this. Like you know, she needs she needs her uh, she needs somebody on the side like Garrick has. <laughs> so her reasoning for getting a third is so that while Garrick's over there trying to make babies, she can have someone else to do things with. I don't know how I should take that. I don't know if that's the innuendo or if she just wants someone to hang out with. It sounds like she just needs a friend. I she think just, she just wants to throw it in Garrick's face too. Like see how you like it when I do that, dude. Like then Garrick's gonna be like, oh hey, I'm taking all of them. God, the way they the way they said that, it's like it could be taken as a sexual thing. I don't think she really meant it that way, but she also she kind of made it sound like it too. Yeah. But I think I'm pretty sure what she explained is having a friend, like some like someone that supports her, like that she can go hang out with. You don't have to marry that person. You can just have a friend. Be social. You know. <laughs> Put their number in your phone and like call them. Yeah, you know, you know uh, try that out. You know, if you goes. have to go that far to have a friend, like how how much does Garrick have her locked down? Does she doesn't even have friends, and she has they have to marry a third person just for like hanging out with people? No way. There's no, that's that's no way. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Things together and vice versa. So we're not alone. I so think sure. that's why you get married. You don't want to be alone, right? <laughs> She's still, she's still throwing the shade out there. She's still throwing it out there. <laughs> you get married because you don't want to be alone. <laughs> like me. <laughs> oh. Well, you know, God's got it all in the books here. I'm sure that can happen. With a third coming in, and I think it'll be maybe a little more challenging for Roberta. I did think it would help Bert, though, too, because what about the night she's not with me? What is this nights thing? You know, the nights when I'm not around. Were they going to, like, go cuddle up in the bed together and, like, watch movies or something? What's happening? What do they expect? These are just swingers, man. Yeah, for real. <laughs> and these are just swingers. And Gary's literally acting like he's the best God's gift to women, too. You know what I'm saying? He's just like, yeah, I don't know how she's going to handle nights when I'm not there. You know, well, He already compares himself to Jesus, so yeah. Sorry you don't exactly. get the Garrick every night. <laughs> <laughs> the Garrick experience. You're going to be missing out. Can't just wait around and not be open to our family growing when we believe that our family's going to have more than, you know, two wives. So, Jeez, Roberta's, good. Roberta's not going to show. That's why she hadn't showed up because she's like, bro, what? I haven't got there yet. You already looking for somebody else, right. dude? Like I'm supposed to be dude, a wife. My, yeah, here. My, my mom is sick or something. You know, I can't. I can't make it. Sorry. <laughs> We've been courting a lady from California. And what? Oh, okay. Leah has been in a plural relationship before that it, but it didn't work out. She was really young. Oof. Ooh, she got she got indoctrinated at a young age into the cult, but didn't work out. She got out, but now she's going back in. Oh no! <laughs> then Garrick was like, "But let me show you." I can see Ooh. how that would be hard for Bert, but I don't think there's ever a perfect time. Sometimes you just have to be willing to roll with the punches. Jeez, man, they are savage. They don't care. They 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 don't care. <laughs> they, they, they have no sympathy whatsoever. Like, it's going to be hard for her, but uh, suck it up. <laughs> I, I know this was definitely Danielle's plan. Bert hurt her, and she was like, oh, Bert. Oh, Bert. Don't worry. God's still calling. God. We need one more, baby. <laughs> He's going to do you like that, too. <laughs> Oh, dude, you're right. You're right. It was her idea. She's the one pushing it. She's like, yeah, Bert, take that. She's going to be jealous. Roberta? Yeah. <laughs> Don't care. I see a new light at Danielle here. You know, she's not so sweet as we thought. She's freaking she's savage, bro. I drove here to Los Angeles to meet her in person. It is also our anniversary, so <laughs> it's kind of a nice excuse to get away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's her anniversary, and Garrick's going to be over there not spending any time with his large wife again. Oh, nice. no. I've seen this happen before. I don't think Leah ever told me how tall she is. So that'll be interesting to find out. You're 
the average guy, I would say, I guess. That's true. Five two eight. Tall. Wait, what? Average guy, five eight. Bruh, he ain't even six foot. How's he trying to get all these girls? How's he trying to get all these girls? <laughs> hey, look, man, average guy's five eight, all right? Back up, Kenny, back up. <laughs> <laughs> what? We're borderline <laughs> tall, all right? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, you bunch, of, you bunch of short guys around here, please. Could be wife number three. Oh my oh, yeah. god. Oh, OMG. OMG. <laughs> I like Bert. Wow, he looks so nervous. She like really is running the show now. Like he's, he's oh, scared yeah. of her. She's like, oh, you oh. did this to me. She's hardly quitting him. We have not dated since Roberta came into our life. You remember how to date? I'll figure it out. <laughs> It's interesting they say they haven't dated since Roberta came in. So that was three years ago. And that was the whole year before that. So they, they've been, they've been swinging for a little bit, you know? Right. Cause I've, I've just, that's what they are. They're swingers. That's, they, that's what they are to me. Can't change my mind. Like, <laughs> 100%. <laughs> like we've seen other like uh, polygamy sh uh, like shows and couples and stuff. And it's usually not so much about the wives being like, heck yeah, let's go find more. It's usually like the husband just kind of does it, you know? Right. Or are you, are you coming to the show and they already have like several people. So it's, different i guess uh, even like the uh, what was the other one we did where like uh the wife had to like basically interview him <laughs> like she was interviewing him to see oh, if they yeah. would be a good fit for the family oh. and she didn't like him you know it was it was and she a was much strict. different bob and she was strict. yeah yeah i don't even get to she meet like him boss. until they go through her she was boss wife yeah <laughs> then this couple like garrick and uh danielle it's like they're they're a couple it's, it's just like they're trying to date people together Right. So it's kind of weird. Yeah. Hoping that she could come here first before a third was added. And Roberta has been very insecure and jealous. Ah. Dude, yeah, get her. Make her, make her insecure. The revenge. <laughs> that she's very pretty. Uh, she's tall. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, well, bro, she's like, she's like, five, she's the same height as you. She ain't right. even tall. Oh yeah! All right, yeah, yeah. Large wife, hop in the back. Yeah, hop in third the back. wheeling it already, baby. <laughs> third wheeling it already. That's all right. She can sabotage better from the back when no one's looking at her. She's on sabotage she, mission. Gary, Gary must be doing good with all this money from his his uh, business. Look at this! Look at this! Look at these seats. Yeah. Yeah, got, got that with a King Ranch going in. That's the GMC or whatever it was. Okay. Wasn't I? Don't know what make it was, but it's nice. My name's Leah, and I'm here to meet the Merrifields and be their potential sister wife. I'm like shaking really bad. But I think she's just here for the show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like it just conveniently fell into their lap after we you know we've been waiting Roberta for a year now, and three weeks ago before we started filming, we just met this other person here. <laughs> I'm on to you, whatever. My parents lived a plural lifestyle, and I attempted a plural relationship before when I had my oh, son. Her parents also did it. Okay, it's been handed down generation to generation. You gotcha. <laughs> I'm just so used to it. I don't think that I would be able to be in a singular relationship. I think I wouldn't know what to do. Hmm. Interesting. That's all she knows. Easy pickings for Garrick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking it'd probably be cool if we um, do maybe a call or a video chat with Bert. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, the, oh, okay, let's call her up. Like that slow nice term timer. she has, she's like, mm, mm, yeah, let's call her up. Roberta will adjust to this dynamic because she's very insecure and jealous. I know she won't be able to talk long, but I thought it'd just be good for her At to least. see. Yeah, when well, she's very insecure. Look, man, Bert was, Bert was like, you know, favorite prospect wife. Now she's being put to the side. Like Danielle, she don't like it. Ooh. Go through the same stuff. Oh, and Danielle's oh. been fasting. Maybe... Maybe Bert's big, <laughs> large wife now. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. All right. Well, that, that, that's the end of this uh, this episode. So if you like this, leave a like, leave a comment, do all that cool stuff. Tell us what you think about all of it. And we'll see you guys next time. Today's your birthday. Happy birthdays. Toast to my friends. I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>